All right, good evening and welcome back to Gun Bunny Customs. And tonight, we're gonna get back in the flow of making videos by doing a quick review of the new Tiger Force 2-pack with Roadblock and Tripwire that got released today. Um, and it was kind of a miracle that I actually got them. Uh, this morning I went to Target. As they were restocking the toy aisle, they said they didn't have any, didn't get any. Um, they checked on his little red phone box thing and uh, he checked every store in the city and they were all out of both two packs and the um, tiger paw and then as i was sitting here working on a custom on some customs and they popped up on my uh target app that they had some in stock so i went took a quick look and they had three so i snagged two and i left one but still no tiger paws so i wanted to do a quick review and then also a quick comparison to one of the first i believe he is the first tiger force um, figure that I've ever done and it was Tiger Force Roadblock. Now I went more off of obviously the the original because this one hadn't been released yet. I got the original looking helmet from Mark II Designs and then I spliced uh, web gear. I used Duke's belt and then I believe these are both um, Duke's um, the straps that go, uh, his chest straps, it needs to be repainted because it's been handled a lot. But this was my interpretation of it, and that's how I, I was able to, to create um, the look of his actual web gear. So this is the um, official release. Now, I do like how they have the updated tiger straps to be more accurate towards um, the way that the camel print was um, in the late 60s, early 70s with the, the tiger stripe uh, camouflage. But... I still am. A, I still do like my original one. I think it came out pretty cool. I like that helmet. All right, but yeah, this is it. I mean, we've all we've been seeing this these roadblock legs since V1. You know, gung ho roadblock. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of people have used these legs now. I guess Naga hide in this latest wave. So these way these uh, legs are still kicking and these boots are still kicking. Um, but other than that, he's pretty much like the heavy artillery uh, roadblock the helmet he does not come with this cool backpack and the original 50 cal as opposed to a minigun or gatling gun and they are in this really nice matte black with the tiger force logo on there is that upside down it's upside down tiger force logo right there now the reason i wanted to do tiger force is because i've sort of become a tiger force a huge tiger force fan late here in life as a child, I did not like these. I thought Tiger Force was really goofy. I thought Python Patrol was really goofy. And I didn't really even start enjoying them until I started painting them for Classified. And the only reason I did it was because it was just obvious um, sub-teams. So he was the first one that I painted figure-wise. Uh, and then I did the Ram Cycle. I was the first one to do the Tiger Force Ram Cycle. And that's where I got a, ended up getting a lot of views, attention, share, and all that kind of stuff. And so it just sort of spun me off into the Tiger Force Python Patrol realm. I also did a Python Patrol um, Croc Master early on on the same roadblock buck because that's all we had at the time was a roadblock buck, um, Duke's body or Snake Eyes' body. So those were my first two ventures into that. And so, but now I have all kinds of stuff. So also Tripwire isn't new. We, we just saw Tripwire recently in his original release. And this doesn't have the all the extra vests and all that kind of stuff that, that he came with in, uh, in that release. But um, he does look cool. I do like him. Tripwire was a uh, one that I had as a child and was, um, you know, I was a fan of. I do like the way the, the paint apps are on him as well. I do really like that that's um, that Tiger Stripe pattern. I wish I would have thought of that first. And you got to have the face with the stripes there. Same thing. I wish I would have been a little bit more closer to those stripes early on you know pushing it to a more modern look as opposed to replicating the the original ones but quality wise they do feel good i don't see any really major uh paint app problems or any major um quality qc issues um i think they're both great figures i think they're both great additions and as a tiger force um uh, if you're a tiger force fan they are a, a must-have and so here we go have a look around at all of it. The only thing that I, I do not like are these these mines. I don't know. I don't know where that's supposed to go. I don't know why they would put that pin on the back like that. 
or the little the little knob on the back like that because you can't lay it flat. And I don't know how it's supposed to attach to the backpack because there's a you know there's like a full one in there, and I don't know, I don't know where where's was fireflies mines just like this. I remember them being flat and them being able to them being having the opening in the back of this and snapping onto the um, to the backpack. Other than this goofy mine, I really don't have any any issues with any of the design or anything like that. Like I said, they're both from uh, recently released. Well, he's been you know over a year now, but this guy or two years now. But it was the updated version, so they do look good. Their quality, they are um, a nice addition to any Tiger Force collection or sub team, you know, subsection that that you have. And it was actually nice seeing something on the shelf. Um, new because i haven't seen anything new in a while in a while so i'm going to get back to working on my customs i'm going to be doing uh, a set of twins on those hammerhead bodies like everybody else has done already but my boy kj black Genghis um sent me a video of, of a guy making some and it just kind of put me in the mood and i'm gonna put my spin on it i'm not gonna do the traditional gray trousers with the, with the blue or the light gray trousers with the blue sport coat i'm gonna go a little bit different a little bit a little bit darker and so I'll be hopefully finishing those tonight, tomorrow, and be posting them. And then hopefully I'll be getting back on track. I have a bunch of videos that I've been wanting to make, but just life gets in the way. I have a lot of um, just stuff going on in my life. So as you can still see, I still have my slugger sitting here. I still have the ferrets that I got to finish working on steering. I have these customs that I'm working on. I did get torched recently, thanks to um, a, uh, a collector friend of mine. Lonnie Mason, shout out to uh, Lonnie. He was able to snag a torch and a jinx for me, and I was just, I just did some quick paint apps on the on the boots to kind of break up that uh, that extra long kind of look where you got the the long uh, knee flaps. So I know there's people that are pro knee flap and people who are anti knee flap, like uh, Tony's custom and uh, Dreadnought Ryan, but uh, me and Cage's custom, old Johnny Reno, we we happen to like that they go up there but i think they just needed a little bit of a color break to uh have it not look so monotonous all right so that's it that's what's going on for now um hopefully i'll be making uh more videos maybe even tomorrow depending on how much time i have but hopefully soon this week we'll be getting on a new larger project and be moving forward with that with that have a good night don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time